Welcome back to the Bruce Point Set Show. It's everyone's favorite segment, the Mail Report. Yeah. This week, we we had to do a little, let's switch it up a little bit. And this is going to be a little, uh, I'm going to call it Hellman's Most Wanted because there is a lot of uh, white justice news in the news. <laughs> so we're going to start, you know, Ada, we... We enjoy we enjoy the nerd things just we do. a little bit, mm-hmm. and there's this movie that the WB is still putting out, mm-hmm. The Flash, starring one Ezra Miller. Yep. Ha- have you been keeping up with Ezra's Ezra's uh, escapades? Yeah, escapades. <laughs> that's a that's a good word. Uh, sadly, I have been keeping up. It's a mess. <laughs> yeah. So for those who those who don't know, Ezra Miller, uh, The Flash, <laughs> star of The Flash, yes, has been on a an epic, epic run. Mm-hmm. You know, I remember it was like it was like two years ago when they put out a video, some random video threatening like a North Carolina chapter of the KKK, and we're just like. I mean, I guess that's a net positive, but also this is bizarre. (laughs) And then there were some things before that, but things started like cascading. Uh, You know, they were accused of grooming. Uh huh. And then that escalated to uh, kidnapping in Uh Vermont, including, uh, yeah, kidnapping a mother and their child, the child was found in one case with a picture with a a bullet Mm. in her hair, I want to say. You know, normal things. Yes. And then, then Ezra was on the run, like, literally on the run run. from the law. Yes. (laughs) But, never fear, the Flash is still, you know, (laughs) WB has decided they, canceling a whole bunch of things. Yes. Batwoman movie. Uh Uh-huh. Uh, Scoob for all you Scooby Doo fans Sorry, out there. Sorry, Scooby Doo fans. But the Flash is still going. Yep. And don't don't worry if you're like, but wait, what what about Ezra? Where? What? Don't they have to be there? Mm-hmm. Well, Variety has reported that Ezra is seeking treatment, has released an apology, aka the WB. Threatened Ezra, <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> to get some help because we have to put this movie out. Uh huh. But it is. <laughs> it has been a mess because, like, I feel like from what you just described, like I remember hearing about this like in March, and like they were beating people up in Hawaii. Um, yeah, it's been a mess. Oh God, that's right. I yes. forgot about that video of yeah, they just beat up a random woman. And like, I don't know, it looked like a Target. Yep. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> they they have been, like, regularly violent. They have been kidnapping. Like, it's been, it's been a tale, for sure. But that Flash movie is yep. still coming out, people. <laughs> so don't you worry. Yes, we are still getting the Flash film. And Batwoman, helmed by uh, multiple people of color, has been canceled. Woohoo! Been canceled. But it will go down as a tax write-off from the WB. Right. Ooh. It was going to be released on HBO Max, too, like, exclusively, and they still canceled it. So I'm just kind of like, okay, okay. Shout out The Flash, though. It's still coming out. Mm, 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 mm. So uh, let's take it up a notch, though. Next level. The entertainment world. Let's go to not not news. Um I don't know what 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 do we call Alex Jones? Uh, conspiracy tyrant, uh, maybe in some places. Yeah, that's all all those words. Uh, yeah, for those who don't know, Alex Jones, uh, big media conspiracy theorist. You know, I first found out about him. I think in college. I they're like a bunch of. Uh, it was like based in Austin, Texas, mm-hmm. and he kind of like got his 
God's start there came up as just kind of part of the, oh, yeah, Austin's weird, you know, vibe. Yeah. Right. And I remember seeing like things like Patrice O'Neill and some other comedians I was a fan of, mm-hmm. like went on his show back in the day. But it's basically just like, you know, he's the conspiracy guy. Yeah. Also, you know, huge pusher of boner pills, mm-hmm. like making millions and millions and millions off of boner pills. Mm-hmm. But I digress. He, I remember the point where at least, like, I didn't follow Alex Jones closely, but where I was just like, oh, that's what this guy's about is like, Right after, you know, protests started building up around the Trayvon Martin case, Mm. I remember he he did this, like, video seemingly from, like, his bathroom where he was claiming that Trayvon Martin was a hoax. Mm. And it's just like, oh, this isn't just, like, this isn't just your, you know, run-of-the-mill conspiracy theory. He's flipping the script and making it. He's appealing just to you know, make this a vehicle for the white supremacists. This yes. Is, this is, oh, that's what this is. Uh-huh. Wonderful. But don't worry, he's a he's equal opportunity offender. You know, he's said the frogs yep. are making people gay. That was a famous one. Yeah. But most recently, he was lost a lawsuit with the parents of Sandy Hook because for years, oh, he's yeah. been claiming that that too, that school shooting, of elementary school students, teachers, was a hoax. Oh that God, the God. children who died were, and the parents are paid actors. Oh my and God. And it was all a scheme to take your guns. And he's just been claiming that and doubling down on that for years and years. And finally, he lost the lawsuit. And for the people wondering, so what does that mean? I think the number was something like, at first, for one family, it was like four mil in compensatory damages, I want to mm-hmm. say, and then 45 million in punitive damages. And this is just mm. one of, uh, I want to say, there's going to be at least a couple more cases. One would hope even more after that, but we'll see. Agreed. And one would look and say, okay, $45 million plus another four mil plus God knows how much. That's going to stop him, right? Mm-hmm. No. Oh. So throughout this entire case, he's still been going on his show, still smearing the families, smearing the judge mm. during this lawsuit. And to top it all off, I guess there's a law in Texas that uh, limits punitive damages to seven fifty or 750000 Mm-hmm. Per person, so that forty-five mil, not gonna be forty-five mil, uh, and guess what's probably gonna cover all those costs, all those boner pills that mm-hmm. he sells to his angry white male audience. So, if you're thinking, are we finally done with Alex Jones? Probably not. No, he's gonna keep going, and Definitely. this may further embolden him. Mm-hmm. Yay. Speaking of which, that brings us to the the cream of the mayonnaised crop. Mm-hmm. One Donald Trump. Mm. We've we all have seen that his Mar-a-Lago resort was raided by the FBI, and among other things, he's you know being investigated for violating the Espionage Act, Mm. which in the past has mostly been used to, you know, prosecute and go after whistleblowers exposing, you know, government corruption, uh, human rights violations. But, so, you know, the Espionage Act is an interesting thing in itself, but that's another discussion. Mm -hmm. But there's just a... A magical irony here. <laughs> yeah. Where the same guy who, you know, was doing lock her up chance for Hillary Clinton and arguably Hillary Clinton lost the 2016 election over emails. Mm-hmm. In this case, you have Donald Trump 
who kept uh, not just classified government documents, but they're saying that includes nuclear documents, possibly. Whoa. Nu- like nuclear, not like nuclear energy, like nuclear weapons. Oh. Now, I, if I'm comparing emails that, you know, we're saying, well, Hillary Clinton should have been, should have been more careful to wrongfully taking <laughs> nuclear weapons documents that there's an investigation of whether he was trying to sell them oh. to foreign entities. No. Now, which, I'm not sure. Hey, though, you tell me. Which one sounds worse to you? Hey, man, look. Those nuclear documents? Like, huh? The fact that he was given the access to those in the first place is ridiculous. But the fact that he was able to take them home? Yeah, how? How? <laughs> like, just, just what? <laughs> oh. Like, a few things, you know, I'm not surprised by a lot, but they just let him just, just walk out with the nuclear documents after January 6th, after, <laughs> <laughs> after an attempted coup. Oh. I, I don't know how that, that works. And similar to Alex Jones, you might be thinking... So, this is the moment, right? This is the one. This has got to be the thing that finally puts, you know, puts a stop to this charade. Like, Trump can't run for president anymore. He we're going we're gonna to cut this off. People are going to distance themselves from him, right? No. Uh. <laughs> of course not. He has made, uh, it's been a fundraising boon, including at least a couple of days so far where he's raised a million in a day because of the FBI raid. Excuse me. And now a new, the new favorite chance of Trump, his cronies, all these uh, right-wing zealots is defund the FBI. <laughs> Just... <laughs> I, it, it's it's um i would say it's dumbfounding but i have learned that the the formula is just what is the outrageous thing that's probably where it's going just assume <sighs> assume it's going to keep escalating so you have people like marjorie green who uh you know the georgia congress person clown is literally sen- selling defund the FBI merch. It is a rallying this cry. We've ridiculous. had attacks. A guy, a guy who was at the January 6th coup went, I want to say Cincinnati, to like the Cincinnati FBI office with like actual, like an AR-15 and a nail gun. Started with the nail gun, which is an interesting choice, mm-hmm. but attacked the FBI office. There's been all kinds of threats to the FBI. Wow. I heard a statement earlier on the radio. Mike Pence had to come out and make a public statement saying that trying to tamp people down, say we can't keep saying defund the FBI. We're no worse than the people saying defund the police. Mm -hmm. And it is, it is amazing. It is amazing. And apparently none of this disqualifies Trump again from running for office in 2024 that is wild yeah it (laughs) so get ready for that everyone what if it comes out that he's guilty it's looking like he's guilty so like what if the info comes out that he is i predict he will raise even more money although Uh. there is one one uh one negative i guess for trump Mm. As I was uh, getting the stuff ready for the Hellman's Most Wanted today and looking up Alex Jones and the latest, it turns out, because another thing that boosted Trump in his election and since has been, you know, Alex Jones' love for him. Mm -hmm. But apparently, according to the Daily Beast, Alex Jones dumps Trump for Ron DeSantis, who is, quote, way better. So 
a lot of things are going well for Trump, but apparently Run. he's he's lost to another uh, mail report uh, focused person. Uh-huh. He's lost Alex Jones support in favor of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. So, yeah. Yo. For those wondering, uh, what's to come again for the election? You've got one fascist or another fascist on the GOP side. Yay. Oh, my God. 2024 is going to be a mess. Yes. (laughs) Yes, it is. And, yeah. In another world... Some of these things might, I don't know, disqualify these people from everything. Might put them in, you know, I don't know, jail. Mm -hmm. But again, it's Helmut's most wanted. It's white justice, everyone. Yep. And that's the mail report. (laughs) 